This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Samsung Vibrant on T-Mobile. The Vibrant is the Galaxy S on T-Mobile in the United States, and it's Samsung's first Android Superphone. This has a 4-inch multi-touch capacitive display, and it's Super AMOLED, which means it's just as bright, saturated, and colorful as AMOLED, but a bit clearer, and it's very viewable outdoors, unlike AMOLED displays. You can see this just as well as you can see the iPhone. Take a look around. It's very thin. It's about as thin as the iPhone 4. And it has that kind of pattern back. If you turn it in the light, you can see the pattern that we've seen on some high-end Samsung phones before, like the Jet. 5 megapixel camera on the back. It's a very good camera, but there is no flash. There's a lock-on-lock -lock button right here. 3.5 millimeter stereo jack, micro USB with a sliding door. We like that. No fiddly rubber cover, and it's not open either. And your volume controls are on this side. The phone has a 1 gigahertz ARM Cortex A8 family CPU with a GPU acceleration unit in it. It's made by Samsung and it's pretty much comparable to the iPhone 4 CPU. It's a very fast performer and it's probably a little bit zippier than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 1 GHz CPU we've been seeing on today's Android flagship phones. It has 16 gigs of internal storage as well and the usual Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS combo. It's going to sell for $199 on T-Mobile with a contract and it will be available by mid-July. We're going to compare it to the Samsung Captivate. This is the Galaxy S on AT&T, also in the US. Same Super AMOLED display, though I'd swear it may just be the difference between units, but the T-Mobile one's a little bit more bright and vivid. Same specs in terms of hardware, but AT&T went with the redesign, whereas this is pretty much the standard look that we saw on the original overseas Galaxy S. AT&T has gone with the kind of rounded top and bottom, and instead of the black plastic, which is a fingerprint magnet here, they've had a metal panel put in. Again, with a kind of pattern on here and it's a texture. In fact, it's a slight bit rough. It works as an help file, too. And you've got the end caps here. The door doesn't just pop off itself. This is an interesting thing. You slide this panel down first. Slide this panel down, and then you can take off the metal cover. Here's a micro SD card slot. Ours did not come with a micro SD card slot on the AT&T version, but it does on the T-Mobile. So back to the T-Mobile version, you see this just has your usual plastic pop-off back. Same design inside though, SIM card slot here, micro SD card slot, a 2 gig card is included with Avatar on it, which looks fantastic on the Super AMOLED display. The Avatar file is copy protected, so sorry you can't transfer that to your computer or give it to your friends to play. Now we're going to compare the, t the Vibrant with the HTC HD2 also on T-Mobile, their other super phone. This is running Windows Mobile with HTC Sense user interface on top and it has a 4.3 inch display. Though this is a 4 inch display, we, we thought, well, it's going to be a little bit more pocketable, but as you can see, the, the size difference is pretty minimal there. And now we'll compare it to the iPhone 4. You can see it's a bit larger than the iPhone 4. And the thickness is similar. So now we just compare this to a couple of other Android Super phones. Here's the Evo 4G on Sprint. So you can see the Evo is just slightly larger as the HD2. And here is the Motorola Droid X on Verizon. So this is actually running Android 2.1, which is a very recent release, and it's got a very calmed down version of Samsung's TouchWiz user interface. Gone is the sidebar with the pop-out widgets and some of the excessive eye candy that really didn't add much to Android. And what they've just stuck with is a customized launcher. Instead of having the infinite scrolling up and down, you go sideways to get to your applications, and they are in alphabetical order. And they've customized the icons, as you can see here, and given them square backgrounds. We've got the strip down here for quick launch of dialer contacts, messaging, and going back home. Samsung has extended the home screen, and you can see here they tell you how many screens there are using the dots and which one you're on currently. 
And we have things like their custom social networking widget over here. You can do Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter on this and set the update interval and set whether or not it syncs information with your address book. And the rest are just screens for your use. Next we're going to take a look at the web browser. And despite recent poo-pooing on T-Mobile's network and their possible survival in the United States, right now they do have the fastest data network if you have their HSPA Plus service, which we do here. We average about 5 meg download speeds and 1 to 2 meg upload speeds. So we're just going to go to our home page. There is haptic feedback for the keyboard and optional auditory feedback, which I've turned off so you don't have to hear every little click. And of course they have the swipe input here where you can drag from one character to another to input. Pinch and zooming is supported. And obviously page load times are very fast. Let's go to the New York Times now. And it does have autocomplete. As you saw, the New York Times is actually showing up as an input option since Google has a cache of just about everybody's site in the world and an index of it. So this defaults to the mobile site for the New York Times. So since this comes with Avatar, this is an 800 by 480 pixel resolution movie at a fairly high bit rate. It's one and a half gigs. Let's take a look at how it plays. Move ahead to something more exciting than that. Now, the Super AMOLED display looks absolutely beautiful. Play looks awesome. The lip sync is a little bit off though, unfortunately. We notice that we try to play Transformers on this and on the AT&T version of the Galaxy S to Captivate. Certainly the CPU is up to the task, this is a GPU, so we think maybe a little software tweaking would help keep the voice in sync with the video. The Sims 3 is also bundled here as the Kindle app is. You can also get the Kindle app on the Android market for other Android phones as well. We're going to take a look at a couple of other applications here. We have something called the Daily Briefing, which we also saw recently on the Samsung Wave. And this gives you the weather for a given city. You can add as many cities as you want. We just start with New York stock, and you can put as many stock symbols in as you want, and you can get, obviously, a very nice view of how that stock is doing. AP Mobile News, and if you had any items in your calendar today, they would show up over here. And they have their mini diary application. You can tap and add a photo. We'll just pick something that we took using the camera. And here you can see the gallery application. And you can add text. So it's kind of a little diary that you can do with pictures and remember what the weather was on a given day. Cute. The last of the Samsung custom applications is just a little notepad, but you can also use this to send to several places, including Facebook or sending text messages, so it's a multi-input kind of notepad. Then we'll take a look at applications at T-Mobile, 
and Samsung together and decided to bundle. Those are not made by Samsung. That's Think Free Office right here. That's a free Office viewer. If you pay to upgrade, you can also edit and create documents. We've got Telenav for GPS. Google Maps is also on board with spoken directions, but if you want to use Telenav, you can. Telenav costs $10 a month and it gives excellent directions and has good POIs as well. Directions are I'd say more rock solid certainly than Google's at this point. So you've got your usual search for a place, maps and traffic. You can see map data downloads pretty quickly, especially given the high resolution of the map. Since this has an 800 by 480 pixel display. So now we'll search for something, the ubiquitous Starbucks. And we see a million Starbucks. And you tap on any one and it'll give you drive to, map it, rate it, save it to fave. So we just want to see a map of that location right now. We tap on it, it'll show us all the other Starbucks that are actually nearby as well. And you can drag the map around, but there is no pinch zooming inside of Telenav, unfortunately. You have to use the plus and minuses to zoom in. Now we'll take a look at Google Maps. Of course, the phone does also have Wi-Fi if you're not graced with HSPA plus or HSDPA service in your area. Press and hold and you can get options for street view, get directions, navigate, which is spoken directions. View. As always, impressive. So now we're going to check out YouTube. It's over T-Mobile's connection. And we'll just pick something random from the front page. What's up guys? How's it going? Mr. Inside Man here. And if you want to switch to high quality mode. <laughs> What's up guys? How's it going? Mr. What's up guys? How's it going? Mr. So it's very smooth and good looking in uh, high quality mode over T-Mobile's 3G network. Very nice. Definitely. So here's the Sims 3 Collector's Edition that comes with the phone. As you can hear, the speaker is very loud. I am now going to turn off music so I don't have to shout over it. Okay. And we'll start a brand new game. So that looks pretty nice. God, he's wearing a T-Mobile shirt. Check that out. All right, we'll just accept him. Now we've created our sim, wearing his lovely T-Mobile shirt, and we'll start the game. Wow, that is nice looking. Of course, we've got a million wonderful help bubbles just like we do in the desktop sims. There's no pinch zooming here. You can use the other on-screen controls to do that. So that's, that's pretty nice looking. This is no feature phone Sims 3 game at all. This is really nice 3D. So that's the Samsung Vibrant on T-Mobile, the Galaxy S phone. This is their first Android Super Phone, 1 GHz ARM Cortex A8 CPU, 800 by 480 Super AMOLED display, 16 gigs of storage, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and Android 2.1. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website for the full review.